Shalom everyone, Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan from the IDF here. I am in the Shifa Hospital, as you can see from the sign behind me, and as you can clearly see from the building, we are going to do a one-shot video. One shot, no editing of all of the evidence that we have found just now in this building of the Shifa Hospital. Inside the MRI center of the Shifa Hospital, Israeli troops breached here a few hours ago and we have cleared the area, make sure that it's safe. And a few of the most interesting things that we have found totally confirm, without any doubt, that Hamas systematically uses hospitals in their military operations in violation of international law. And what we have found, I think, is only the tip of the iceberg. Let me show you a few examples. Security cameras have been obstructed. All of the security cameras are uh, covered, and this isn't the only one. You'll see the rest of them here. Follow me as we go in, and we will see the MRI center and see the weapons that Hamas has hidden inside. This is uh, where patients come in order to get MRI services. We'll proceed into a more secluded area. And the uh, lighting here is out, so we're using flashlights. We're now, as you can see, in an MRI room. I don't know when this was used the last time. I don't know when it was used the last time, but it is definitely an MRI machine. And if you follow me behind the MRI machine, I'll show you what our troops exposed just minutes ago. In military terms, this is a grab bag. Grab and go of a Hamas combatant. And if you zoom in and we get some light over here, what you will be able to see are is military equipment. There is a an AK-47, there are cartridges, am ammo, uh, there are uh, grenades in here, of course, uniform. And all of that, this was hidden very conveniently, secretly behind the MRI machine. On the other side, we found a backpack with what appears to be very important intelligence, including a laptop, and we'll show you that momentarily. Let's go see the next room. So we're still in the MRI center. The backpack was found in here, and it was also hidden behind the MRI machine. As you can see, the rest of the equipment here is proper hospital equipment, right? Bandages and medical gear. Uh, it seems as if there's no real shortage because there's a lot of uh, equipment here, but we'll leave that for another discussion. Let's go see weapons and other prohibited items. As we walk through the uh, main corridor here, our troops did a preliminary search of the area. We tried to uncover the cameras, but all of the cameras have been obstructed. You can see there's black uh, tape covering it. And when our troops open this uh, closet here, which is in the main part of the clinic, this is what they found. These weapons have absolutely no business being inside a hospital. The only reason they're here is because Hamas put them here, because they use this place, like many other hospitals and ambulances and sensitive facilities inside the Gaza Strip for their illicit military purposes. So there's Kalashnikov rifles here, even uh, ammunition. And let's go see uh, the, uh, the next part of, the, uh, uh, of, uh, of what we have here. Um, another MRI machine. Another MRI machine where behind it, we also found a contraband similar to what you saw in the other areas. And let's go see the last thing, which is more related to intelligence which I think we will be able to extract quite a lot of interesting intelligence from. If you can see, follow me. Up here, on top of a spare part of the uh, MRI department, we found another grab bag. This is, it's empty because we emptied it and cleared it so that we could use and see it. So this is where we found it. And here are the contents of the bag. The contents of the bag are full military kit for one Hamas terrorist. A live grenade, ammunition, fighting vest with insignia, boots and of course uniforms, and last but not least, standard AK-47. 
inside the hospital, hidden in a secluded area. Take a look at this door here. Blast-proof door, which is part of the clinic and part of the infrastructure of the hospital. Everything else looks like a hospital, only this part doesn't. Last part. Now we will see something that uh, our Intel researchers are looking into. Uh, hold on, before we go on, let's have a look at what we found inside the very same cabinet that houses medical equipment. You can see all kinds of standard military uh, medical stuff. We found another go-to bag, this bag here. And again, we opened it up in order to make sure that it's safe to touch and show. So please don't give me any of that. You opened it up and you placed it there. This is the bag that we found, and this is the stuff that was in it. Now, there's insignia, military insignia, a knife. For those of you who read Arabic, you'll be able to uh, understand what it says here. But it's uh, Hamas, the military wing, Kataib al Qassam. Of course, a vest with equipment, and as always, an AK-47 standard gear, grab and go, which they thought would be a, a good place to uh, to store inside a hospital. And the last item, which I'm sure will be very interesting to uh, analyze, is a laptop. We found it in the MRI room. This is how the laptop looks. I don't know who it belonged to, but now it is being analyzed by our Intel people. Tactical radio communications, which we will analyze. Lots of disks, which will be analyzed. And a computer, which at first glance already provides a lot of incriminating uh, ev 